Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well guys, we've got another solar panel uh, review for you. This one is coming from a company called Dobson. It's a 210 watt lightweight portable folding solar panel. All right, we're gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna do a close look, and then we'll end up doing a quick solar test to see what we get. So why don't we go ahead and get this party started. Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored. We received this product from the vendor. But keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. All right, there it goes. And you get a user manual, which I got to tell you, this must have multiple languages in it because this is pretty thick. But uh, let's take a close look at the panel. So we've got these uh, kickstands that button down. Okay, not bad. I see some stretchy cord. That's going to be helpful in getting the right angle. We'll show you that later on. We've got a pouch. Let's open up the pouch and see what we get in our pouch. We get specs here and uh, all right, they give you a little length on the solar cable. That's not bad. All right. Now one thing I like that I see also is it does have these holes that you can use to actually hang the panel if you don't want to put the panel down anywhere specifically. So that's not bad. Let's look at the other side. Again, another kickstand. We've got a uh, magnetic handle. That's not bad. It's a good idea. Kind of holds it together. Open it up. Take a look at the panel itself. I will put what coating this, so this panel is on the screen. All right, I believe it's ET, uh, I forgot the name. I'll put it up on the screen on the coating, because that's important. That actually helps make the uh, panel last longer as well. But uh, you can see here, so we've got one, two, all right. We've got another one here, four. This is uh, four panels, by the way. Five, six, and then you got seven and eight. Not bad, not bad. All right, before we set this up for testing, I just want to give you some real good information. Obviously, you always want to know cost and weight and stuff like that. So cost on this is $459 MSRP. Uh, it does go on sale, but you know, that is steep. Um, again, these are not, you know, these foldable lightweight panels do cost more than the rigid panels but 459 is, is kind of high. Uh, it's a 210 watt solar panel. Efficiency rating is up to 23%. The weight, 13.11 pounds or 5.95 kilograms. This has an IP67 weather rating, so that's pretty good. Comes with a one year warranty. And the material is a carbon fiber reinforced polymer. And solar specs, again, 210 watts, open circuit voltage, 24.5 volts, short circuit current, 11.1 .1 amp. Now let's set this up and uh, let's take a look at it and then do our solar test. All right, we're gonna go ahead and test this solar panel to see what type of wattage we get. Now we're actually gonna be using the Dobson all right, this is, I believe, the DBS 1300, and we're going to have a review on that also. But we are also going to have some extension cable so we could put the solar panel out far and keep the power station nearby. We've got the solar cable that the power station comes with. 
we've got the solar disconnector tool. We'll show you how that works in a little while. And um, we're also going to be using a solar angle guide. This thing really helps get the right angle on the solar panel so that you're actually getting as much wattage as possible. All right, now let's go ahead and go over the specs so you could see that these two match up well. Let's start off with the Dobson. So the power station uh, max is 400 watts, 12 to 60 volt, 12 amp. Now the solar panel is a 210 watt solar panel by Dobson. Open circuit voltage, 24.5 volts. Short circuit current, 11.1 .1 amps. So you could see here, we could probably use two of these solar panels in series and uh, be under the open circuit voltage, just so you'll know. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, do our test. All right, before we do our solar test, uh, let's take a good look at the panel now. So as you can see, it is four panels, first of all, right? Now it has three kickstands, so it probably would have been better if it had four. The reason why I say that's because uh, one of the things I see is, you know, it's not straight. So this side's not too bad. As you can see here, it's got the two kickstands, so it's not bad. But then when you get down here, because it's only got the one, it's not that straight. I don't know how it's going to perform. All right. Now the legs are uh, flexible. The straps are as well. So this is kind of nice that this will stretch out and give you uh, some more angle in comparison to some uh, solar panels. All right. So I do. I like that. The other thing I like is uh, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these holes if you want to hang this somewhere. So it's got one in each corner and then it's got one on the top and on the bottom of every panel. So that's not bad. So you can actually hang this a certain way instead of uh, putting this down flat like it is. But uh, you know, just wanted to give you some feedback. But let's go ahead and do our solar test. Alright, we got our solar panel set up. And uh, this is actually the best angle based off where the sun's at. We've got a partly cloudy sky. But just to show you with the solar angle guide, if I uh, place this right on the panel, you're going to notice that that dot is pretty much dead center. All right, now if we had it too far up, the, the dot would go down. If we had it too far back, the dot would go up. But this is pretty much the best angle for this panel using this solar angle guide. So let's go ahead and uh, test and see what we get. All right, we just have to plug the uh, last part of the cable in and we'll keep an eye on the screen. See what we get. 68, 86, 138, 144, 152, wow. Now obviously it is about 38 degrees and because it's really not hot, this panel will perform very well heat does affect the performance of a solar panel but it says with 153 watts it'll take four hours to charge from 54 percent to 100. Well, we're getting 153 watts guys out of this panel so again four hours to charge to 100 percent from 54 percent that is really good performance, and uh, that is a great demonstration of solar. So I showed you this tool earlier. It's very inexpensive. We'll put the links in the description. But it really makes taking your cable apart real easy. So 
this actually goes under this section here to pretty much push up against these pins you see so you take this and you put it underneath all right you can see there now that it's uh, underneath and it's pushing these pins and basically now it just makes it easier to uh, take the, the cable apart all right so we'll put that in the description if you want to pick that up so let's give you some final thoughts before we end the video four panels right so not bad but they probably should have put a, th a fourth kickstand on this thing because the third kickstand is, is spaced out and it, it, it just isn't as straight it performed well so I think at the end of the day if you saw the test it performed well so we can't complain about that it's got uh, all you know about a bunch of these holes on all of the corners right uh, one two three four five six seven eight I think it's about eight so you can hang this also so I do like that all right the material I never heard of that before carbon reinforced polymer uh, how long will that last I'm not sure but uh, it looks good from first impression the handle is magnetic it, it kind of closes up real easy so you're not fumbling with this it's lightweight I like that the cost a little on the high side right uh, I hope to see some sales prices because four hundred and fifty nine dollars but I guess we'll find out all right just wanted to give you some thoughts all right guys that was the uh, demonstration of solar with this 210 uh, watt solar panel i sure hope you liked the review if you did take a moment give us a thumbs up it really helps the channel and it also helps our video if you want to follow us on social media we'll put all our social media right up top here and if you want to check out our tesla channel right up in the right hand corner at my tesla journey one look us up on youtube we're starting to do videos we're doing some accessory reviews and by the way if you want to subscribe to tech made easy well go ahead and click on that round circle right there and uh, you'll be able to subscribe and join the family we'll put some more solar videos on the right side guys thanks so much have a great day